guys. So today I'm filming a video at college. Um, I had my camera with me this week and I finished a book and I had my makeup done because I had a speech to give today. So I was like, why not film a, a video? That would be perfect. So, uh, yes, like I said, I'm at college. This is my little bed. Um, my art. <laughs> I did a rendition of Starry Night. I painted it. Um, I did this at a Corks and Canvas and I got that for Christmas from a friend. That's my bed. It's messy because I just woke up from a nap. Um, I'll give you guys a tour of the room real quick. Alright you guys, so here is our room. When you first walk in, this is the little area you come to. We have our refrigerator right here. We have our snacks. And then we have our bathroom. It's just, you know, a normal bathroom. I don't really want to turn on the light because it makes a lot of noise. And then you walk in, and here is my friend's room, um, Jordan, my best friend. This is her room. She's got a nice little hammock. That was a mess, putting that underneath there. Figuring that out. TV, all her junk. And then she has a closet. That's these mirror doors right here. Let's see, closet, thermostat, trash can. This is our sink. It's kind of a mess right now, but, you know, we're girls, and I wasn't going to film this, but now I am. So there is our sink, okay, and then you have my room. Um, there used to be a white bookshelf right here, but I actually just put it in my trunk to bring home this weekend because I'm running out of rooms for books in my house, and I really don't use it too much, so all my stuff is just right there. Like, that's my knife kit, camera stuff, vacuum, you know have a little few few little decorations about this my closet my chef whites a chair that my friends love to sit in here's my bed that you just that you see in the beginning of the video these are my drawers um, my art my TV let me come in the room so then we have my TV my stuff all my shoes my books my laptop, printer, snacks that I keep over there because I get hungry. Um, backpack, you know, our window, and my lovely purple lights that someone asked me where I got them from. And I thought that was really cool. So, yeah. That's my room. Also, I write on my closet doors, like, when I have to do things, like, what's due. Because, like, in the first, when I wake up, that's, like, the first thing that I see is this. So, that's not vain or anything. It's because my head is, my head is right there and like that's the first thing that I see. So yeah, that was my room. So that was a tour of the room. Now let's get into the video. Um, I want to do a tiny little haul real quick. So this past weekend, my family and I went to New Orleans and we went to a museum, some food and kind of museum and I found out that one of my chefs that is like my teacher this year. She wrote a few cookbooks, so I bought three of her cookbooks. This one is No Baloney on My Boat. That's Chef Marcel, you see at the bottom. This first one is Who's Your Mama? Are You Catholic and Can You Make a Roux? Book one. And this one's Who's Your Mama? Are You Catholic? Can You Make a Roux? Book two. Um, I'm gonna try to get her to sign these for me. I'm hoping she does, cross some fingers, but I was like, oh my god, that's Chef, that's Chef Marcel, like, that's my teacher. <laughs> I was really excited. Also, if this lighting is bad, if it, I look orange or something, I'm sorry. Um, it's just the lighting that I have in my room. I, d I didn't bring anything special for the lighting, so I'm sorry if I look orange. But the reason for this video is to talk about Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This is the first book in the Luna Chronicle series. I finished this book at about 1 o'clock last night. And it tore my heart open and left it at the ball. Well, the ball was over when this book was over. But that's where my heart was left. Because, oh my god. Okay, so the gist of this book is, it's a retelling of Cinderella, but she is a cyborg. And then they have, you know, all the normal people from Cinderella. They have the stepsisters, the stepmom. They have the fairy godmother in a way. But it's like really strange and I like how they did that. Um, and then they have the prince and all of that shenanigans. And it's just awesome. It's so fun to learn about Cinder and about her hand and her mechanical foot and her, the, the net link in her head. Like I want a net link in my head now. Is that weird? Like she can see anything that's going on like through her eyes. Like she doesn't have to sit in front of a TV and watch it. Like Prince Kai was getting coronated and she was watching it while she was watching, washing a hover, 
which is like a car. I was like, I want that. <laughs> I want that so bad. But oh my God, you guys, I don't want to give anything away because I mean, I can't really give anything away except for one really big thing. And if you know, you've read this book, you know what I mean, the moon. Huh? Um, you can't really give anything away because the ending of this book is just, it ends. And then it moves on to Scarlet, I'm assuming. Prince and Princess doesn't get together. I mean, she's not a princess. But Cinder and Prince Kai don't get together at the end of this book. You know, nothing happens. So I'm really conflicted. I want to start Scarlet. And at the end of this book, there's like a an entry from Scarlet and I'm thinking I think it's from the beginning of Scarlet um it just like jumps right in in Scarlet like I'm I don't know how I feel about the transition between the books I mean what I read might be like in the middle of the book somewhere I don't know so I might pick up Scarlet next I actually picked up the winner's crime today because that's what I have at school with me because I read the winner's curse and I want to finish the series so I picked that up today but I finished Cinder and oh, it was so good, you guys. I recommend this book. Five out of five stars. Please, someone out there, go read this book. I cannot, cannot wait to finish this series. Like I said, I'm really skeptical about meeting Scarlet and all that. Like, little, it's Little Red Riding Hood theme. Like, I just don't know how to feel about that. I'm excited about Rapunzel because she's like an actual princess. You know, like Cinderella is a princess, princessy. And then Winter, I'm excited about. But like, I don't know, Cress? It's like... Cinderella, Rapunzel, Snow White, they're all they're all princesses. Red Little Red Riding Hood, she just comes out of nowhere. So I'm a little nervous about Scarlet, but I'm excited to finish the series. My copy of this book has been through a lot. Um, it's been in the bathroom, through showers with me, um, through baths with me. <laughs> This book has been all over the place, but I'm so glad I finally picked it up and finished it and read it. It was phenomenal. Go read this book. It looks big, but it's so, it's such a quick read for its size. Like, honestly, yes. I read this in about a week and a half, I think. Yeah, it's a quick read. It's a quick read. It's a good read. Go read it. So that's all I have for you today. I'll see you guys next weekend. Bye! College!